Scratchboard. It takes you just a couple of days. Yeah, to about a week. Yeah, I work on it on and off for about a week. Yeah. I like this one a lot, actually. I mean, there's so much detail to it. There's sort of designs going all over the place there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you call this one? I think that's called Triangle Man. Triangle Man? Triangle Man. Nobody knows but Triangle Man. So, religion plays a big part. 
part in your life? Well, it does in a way. I mean, it's not as if I say, hey, I've got a religion and I'm going to live by it. It's rather a problem. It's a matter of having been conditioned by culture, by parents, um, by everything I've read and I've seen on television. Because when you're a child, you're told everything is the will of God. And God controls the universe like this big super parent. God made the universe. God controls the universe. And everything will eventually turn out for the best and turn out good because of God. And that is just so ridiculous. But even on television, when I saw a movie or a, a or whatever it it it, it, um, it had an ending that was good for the for the for the protagonist all the time. When well, isn't religion God? I mean, isn't religion the conscience anyway? I mean, isn't TV the conscience anyway? TV God? In our society? Yeah. I'd say kind of, kind of, but it is. It it represents views that religious people sometimes espouse. I think I think that um in our culture. You say the the religious people is like no sex, no violence, but um, we're going to tell you that everything is happily ever after for the protagonist in all situations. Like so, you're going to be conditioned by so much of that by the time you're 18 if you've watched television as much as the normal American has, you know. And everything's perfect on television. Frequently, there, there are many shows which have been different as of late, but when I was younger, it was much more the case. It's in the Torah that you can eat, eat those certain meats. Well, yeah, that made sense back then. I don't know, maybe it does now if you think of the slaughterhouses that that we have. I don't really know what they're like. I've never visited one before. I just heard on one occasion that a man was beheaded. He was decapitated by a machine in the, in the packaging house or the slaughterhouse. Not good. Oh, God. Oh, I mean, the man, uh, and for his family. I think he went this way. It must be the book The Jungle, too. I read that. Jurgis Runkus. Is that the character? Yeah, an immigrant from Lithuania. So is that a metaphor of some kind for you? There it is. There's a Here we go. Here we go. that we weren't closer over, you know, you get really under it, but that's kind of dangerous. It is, yeah. And I like to get as close up, you know, as possible. Well, that's neat. That was, that's cool.
how's this gonna be? Are we gonna you gonna tell your experience here or what? My experience here it cannot be told. Um, it's a closed book uh, that I will never open. That's good. Just like how Captain Beefheart said, he says music is like taking going to going to the bathroom. You don't look back on it. <laughs>